Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. In the last episode, we defeated the Komodo Bros and made it here to the third warp room. In this episode, we're going to be starting with the first of these levels with plant food. Now this level, as you would guess from the name of the level, is full of plants and other various things. There are two gems in this level, as well as one crystal as per usual, so we're going to be doing our best to grab both of them. Hopefully not a lot of failing in the process. Now this level in particular is pretty interesting, because it is one of those levels where you do have to go through a time section in order to get the gem, and then you also have to get all the boxes. So, uh, just like before, I will be getting all the boxes first, and then coming back into this level later on. On, well, right after this, and then get the other gem by getting the perfect timer at the end of the level. So that is exactly how I'm going to do that. Also, we have two Aku Aku masks. Now, this is I'm just going to take the time to kind of go through the level here, kind of observe what's going on. That way, I cannot fail, and we can make the timer thing work because that would be great if I could do it at least on the first try, or in the second try. Hopefully, not in the fourth or fifth try. So that would just be really dumb. Wait for that thing to explode, and then go over here. Now, as I mentioned before, once you come over here, you are not able to do the time-based event anymore. The time-based event. You're not allowed to get the gem from the time anymore. So, keep that in mind. But since we are going for all the boxes, it's really not that big of a deal to me. So, let's just continue on through. Now, this warp room, the third warp room, is one of the hardest in the game. I think there are, what, four warp rooms plus the secret warp room? But... I don't know, I remember having a lot of trouble in this particular section of the game with these levels because I don't know what it is, but maybe I've just maybe I just sucked back then, who knows. Then again, I played this when I was a kid, so I guess that makes more sense. Also, you have these guys, and you're gonna wanna go to the side, because they will hit you if you're not careful, just like that. You also gotta want you also gotta wanna make sure you have enough masks to deal with them, or at least take an extra hit if you need to. And yeah, you're going to want to come over here first, because I believe, yeah, there are some boxes you can only get from over here. And once you go on the motorboat thing, you are not able to come over here. So make sure you get these boxes first before you jump in the water, or else you're going to be screwed out of getting all the boxes. Which would not be a great time for anyone who's trying to 100% the game, that's for sure. Anyways, let's grab nice jumps there. And now you can also speed past those guys with the uh, speed technique, which is cool. And get this. And that's all of the boxes. Let's get our gem and get the heck out of here. We will be hopping right back into this level to do the timed event. The timed event. To do the timer. The time attack. That's what it's called. The time attack. So, that's great. So here's our crystal. And here's our first gem of two in this level. And no cortex yet, huh? Alright. Well, let's jump back in the plant food and go with the time base. The time... The time attack, oh my goodness. Let's go for that, I guess. Alright, so here we are at the timer. So, let's go through this thing as quickly as possible. And not suck along the... Good thing they give you plenty of Aku Aku masks in this level. Or else it would just not be a fun time for anyone. Also, yeah, you could dash past those uh, whirlpools. And you can avoid them completely. Alright, uh, I'm not going to get that checkpoint. But we're just going to go right through here. We're not going to waste any time. I'm going to try to do my slide spin technique so we can gain a little bit of speed. And 40 seconds, that's a pretty good amount of time, I think. I'm not exactly sure. And we have our second Aku Aku Mask, so I can take extra damage if I need to from these stupid plants. Just like that. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's just keep on going here. Alright, we got this, guys. I think we got this. So let's avoid everything in the w Oh my god! He just stopped right in the middle of my tracks! Oh no, I was at the end of the level! <laughs> and once you die, you have to reset the level, go back to the warp room, and then come back into the level as we did with the first game, and then do it all over again. So I will show one more attempt, and then if not, I will just show me completing it after that. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, here we are once again. Alright, let's see if we can do this better this time. I mean, we did pretty good in that attempt if I didn't die... Q try number five. All right, let's see if we can do it this time around. Hopefully we can without sucking. And you have to just avoid those two. Grab this. Perfect. We're off to a great start. Of course, tornadoes are bad. So just try to avoid them if possible. And then you should be good to go. All right. That was a pretty good section. As long as I have at least one hit going into this, I think I can be okay with my life. So let's kill you. 
I'll kill you, and now just go, just go, just go. I don't even care about the Wumper Fruits, I don't care about anything in the world. I just want to succeed. There we go, we have two hits going into this now, which is really good. Really, really nice. Because you're obviously going to take a hit from those guys right off the bat. I don't even know how you avoid that, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, this is what I'm worried about. So it's these plants right here. Yeah, they get you every time. They always get me. I don't know how to avoid them. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. Oh, yes. Yes. Give me that gem. Thank you. Get the heck out of here, please. I am not dealing with that today. That was way too much for me to handle at that moment. Wow. All right. We got ourselves the yellow gem after all of that nonsense. Good for us. All right, moving on to sewer or later. Now this level requires the yellow gem from the previous level we just did in order to get all the gems in it. First of all, getting all the boxes, and second of all, there's another path we can take to get a gem. So that's pretty sweet. So this level is gonna probably take some time because this level does have a, some branching paths to go through, which is not too bad. We also have this guy to worry about with him just trying to kill you, which is not fun. Now, how the heck are you supposed to get those two boxes? Okay, I guess that's how you do it, but... Jeez, nitro boxes are the scariest things in the world. You just gotta be careful with them or else you're gonna die. It's just not a good time for anyone. Alright, I don't have any extra hits going into this, so I have to be very careful I don't die. Because dying is obviously a bad thing in Crash Bandicoot. So, let's grab these boxes. And then this is the yellow gem path. We're gonna take that and head down here to a cool section. And of course, like all other gem sections, this is harder than the normal path you're supposed to take. So just take that and be cautious with it because this is going to be a very electrifying time for all since there's electricity going everywhere down here. Oh, there's the gem. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to die on purpose. Now that would seem like a dumb idea, but if I do this, I go back to the section before I got to the yellow gem path. And not only that, I still keep the gem that I obtained. And how did I die there? I don't even know. But I still keep the gem that I obtained from going down that path. And it's good because I don't have to first go through the entire section of that. Second of all, if there was an ending to that level, I don't have to go through it because I already got the gem. So that's one little, hit, uh, one little tip if you're playing this game. To save you some time, you can just get the gem and then kill yourself. That way you can still keep the gem, uh, so you don't have to do more things than you already need to do. But here we go, here's a bonus section, and let's just go on go, and get all the boxes, because that's how we do it in here. And Crash, if there's one thing to complain about, is that you crawl so slowly, and I guess that is the point, right? That you crawl really slow. Also, these Nitro boxes, man! You just gotta be careful with them, because they will murder you. Especially since you pretty much die in one hit unless you have an Aku Aku Mask to save you. Which I don't have, so... We're just gonna have to be extra careful with our hits here. With our one only hit that we have. And speaking of hits, there's an Aku Aku Mask right here, so... Good on us, I guess. Now, this can be kind of tedious. You have to spin these guys into these fans in order to go past them. <laughs> that was a poorly executed idea that I had, for sure, so... Jeez. Alright, there's another Aku Aku Mask. I can go for that one. And all I have to do is not suck, and then we can win with everything we have. I think it's possible to go through this with one fan, but I don't really risk it. Oh yeah, oh, this is where you would come out of if you took the yellow gem path. Now, this guy can be used... Okay, that didn't work. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can blow up all those boxes, just like that. Pretty sweet. And then just do a nice good old ground pound to kind of get rid of them, which is sweet. Grab this, and I believe you're going to want to go this way for the normal path. This is where you need to go to get the crystal. And there's a dead end here, so you're going to have to come back and go take the right. Well, actually, one thing I need to make sure I do first, because I don't know if I'm supposed to do this first, is hit these two. Because if I do, then maybe there will be boxes back here that I wouldn't be able to hit unless I hit that gray box. So just to be safe, I will hit it and then come this way, just in case. There is the crystal here, which is awesome, and that is pretty much the end of that branching path. Oh, oh god, okay. Oh yeah, there is nothing behind that wall. Oh my, what? 
There was nothing. Oh my god. All right. Well, I went from being completely safe to now being completely scared that I don't mess up now. So that's fun. I love how in this game you can go from, oh, everything's going to be okay, to everything will kind of suck <laughs> in the amount of five seconds. All right, I'm going to wait for electrocution to come back because I'm scared. Of course, I could have made that jump, but hey, I sometimes underestimate Crash's ability to make decent jumps here. So hurry up, so I can kill you. And there we go. That is it, guys. That is the two gems and the level completed at the same time. So how great is that, right? I mean, that's pretty sweet. Jeez. And if I am correct, we do get to keep both gems. So there's the crystal. There's the gem. And there, yes, I was correct. So if, if you wanted to save some time, you can definitely do that. Oop, looks like Cortex is up to something, but we don't really know what it is because, of course, the connection got interrupted. Sounds like my Skype calls every time. <laughs> oh, what a time. Anyway, this is Bear Down. This level is pretty fun. And, I mean, this level is insanely fun. It's another one of these bear levels. And, of course, bear levels are really freaking sweet. So, let's go and hope that we can get all the boxes this time around. What? How does that happen? I was on the land and you just let me die? Okay. Alright, game. I feel you. I see how you play a game. And you play pretty uh, brutally, if I do say so myself. Okay. You're going to want to do the speed jump thing to get around that, or else you're not going to have a great time at all with this. But seriously, I was on the land and it just counted me in the water and then killed me. You gotta love it. Alright. Now that I'm done complaining about life, let's just go and not suck for the rest of this level. Like we have in the previous levels, wouldn't you say? Because I think that would be a great idea, also. Okay, I did get that box, okay. Now that one is a little bit more difficult than it looks, obviously, like that one section that we had to do. But it's not too bad. I mean, overall, this level isn't that difficult. It is a little bit more difficult than the first bear level we did. This one is not that challenging. Alright, so now that we have done that, let's just get all these boxes here. We're doing pretty good. Just make sure we don't die in the process. And here is our crystal for the level, which is very nice indeed, indeed. And do these quick jumps, and then... Oh, got it. Sweet. That was really... Okay, I didn't... Really? Okay, I thought that guy was going to rise up, and I don't know if he does or not. Maybe he just makes you wait until thinking that he's going to rise, but he actually doesn't. So... But he did at the last second, so. And there we go, we got it. Nice. That was good. Okay. Now that I'm done complaining and worrying and being sad, we're almost at the end. I believe this is the end stretch right here. Well, the end stretch meaning that this is the end right here. So, very nice on us to get that done. Let's get this. And here is our gem. But we're not going to want to exit this way. I think we need to exit this way. So, as you can kind of tell as to where I'm going with this, this is a secret bonus warp entrance. This is a secret exit. <laughs> and from this secret exit, it'll take us back to Air Crash. Pretty good. And there is our crystal. And there is our gem. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to be the end of this one. Next time on Crash Bandicoot 2, we're going to be entering Air Crash and enter it from that secret entrance point and then get all the boxes in that level and then continue with the third warp room. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time for some more Crash Bandicoot 2. See you guys then.